All right, we need to add these two fractions, but unfortunately, they do not have common denominators. The good part on this is that they have the square root of 5 for each, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and multiply these both. I'm going to use a common denominator of 14. So I'll multiply the first term. Well, that should be 7. First term by 7 over 7, and the second term by 2 over 2. So that gives us 70 times the square root of 5 over 14 plus 8 times 2 is 16 times the square root of 5 all over 14. Since we have a common denominator there of 14, we can write this as one fraction. So 70 times the square root of 5 plus 16 times the square root of 5. And again, it's over 14. I'm just going to add 70 and 16, which gives me 86. And I would multiply that by the square root of 5. Here's the problem with this, is that usually we would, since we've been doing a lot of work, we kind of think we're done. But 86 and 14 are at least divisible by 2. So let's see if, if we divide these by 2, what maybe that will show us something there. So that's a 43 times the square root of 5 all over 7. Well, 7 doesn't go into 43, and 7 is prime. So this is our final answer here.